praise God, praise God. As we're in season of Advent, we're looking forward, uh, we're anticipating um, not just we, we see the birth of Christ, yes, but we're looking forward to the coming of Jesus, the return of Jesus. Same way he came the first time, fulfilling his word, he will return, but this time in glory, in glory and power. We're talking about Joseph here, and um, the angel told Joseph, she's going to bear a son, Mary. You will call his name Jesus. He will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Now, what did God say through the words of the prophet? Now, about 25%, almost 25% of the Bible is prophetic. Many of these prophecies have been fulfilled. It is impossible for, you know, um, for these things to have been fulfilled. But they were in the, the prophecies related to the coming of the Messiah. Impossible. But Jesus did it. They were all the, the place of his birth um, and the, the miracles, the virgin being with child and, and out of Egypt I call my son, um, Rachel weeping for her. All these, so many different prophecies were fulfilled through Jesus. God showing the world here, this is the Savior. This is my son, the Savior. This is the Messiah. And here um, he's quoting um, uh, Isaiah. It says, Behold the virgin shall conceive and bear a son. The virgin, he's going to be pure. He's going to be the son of God. You know, he's not going to be um, loaded with the sinful human nature coming through Adam and his descendants. Shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. Em what a powerful name. As if the name Jesus is not just good enough that um, the Lord is my Savior. Here is Emmanuel, God with us. In his very name, Jesus and Emmanuel encapsulates the, the, the person of Jesus, the power of Jesus, the importance of Jesus. You know, he is God with us. He is Emmanuel. God with us. And when Joseph woke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took his wife, the Bible says, and knew her, but knew her not until she had given birth to a son. And he called his name Jesus. Joseph did exactly what the angel told him. Beloved, Jesus coming into the world, that baby in the manger, the one who lived, who eventually he died on the cross for our sins, rose again the third day, proving that he is indeed the Son of God and the Savior of the world. He is Emmanuel. He's God with us. So when we open our hearts and we open our lives to Jesus, as we say, Lord, come, and, and I receive you. I open up my life to you. Come and dwell within me. We're having God Almighty coming by his Spirit and taking up residence in our lives. And we know we're saved. We know God. So we don't have, just have to say, you know what, I believe, and I believe, and I believe. Yes, it starts with believing, but we can actually experience the grace of God. The love of God, the presence of God, the joy of the Lord, the strength of God, and our hope in Him because He comes alive within us. See, Jesus didn't just live 2,000 years ago. Jesus is alive in us. He's alive in the church. He's in the world. The kingdom of God has come. I encourage you, give your heart, give your life to Him. Let Jesus shine through you so others can see Him because this world needs Jesus. This year, 2023, 20, the world needs Jesus. Next year, the world needs Jesus. The world needs Jesus even more. God with us.